what's up? It's AD Video Editor here. Happy 4th of July, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make fireworks in After Effects without the need of any third-party plugins or software. So go ahead, open After Effects, create a new composition, and we'll get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a new null object. Okay, so you're going to create that, and then you're also going to create a new solid. Name this solid light streak and this is just going to be the basically the light streak that you see launching off the ground before the firework actually explodes so in order to do this we're going to need to um, add a particle uh, effect so you're going to use the cc particle systems 2 go ahead drag that on the light streak okay and then so if you see this is what your effect looks like so we've got a little bit to go to make it look right so what you're going to do, you're going to open the producer and the physics. And so what you're going to do is you're going to change the radius x to about 0.2. And you'll change the radius y to about 0.2. And then you'll change the animation from explosive to direction normalized. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is change the velocity from 1 to 0. And so now we have this very thin little line. So what we want to do is center this in the null object and parent it to the position. So go ahead and open the position of the null object. And also, I want you to hit the select the pan behind tool, or you can just hit Y on your keyboard, and move the anchor point about to the center of the null object. So now if we go into light streak and alt click on the per on the position okay then you see this squiggly line here you're going to click it and drag it to the null to position and so now if you move the null object at all your light streak will be moved too Okay, so the next thing we want, we want to do is take the light streak and go to the longevity and bring this down to about bring this down to about 0.3. And I know this looks a little short right now, but it'll be longer in a minute. And so this is just going to basically be the tail of it as it goes up. So what we're going to want to do is animate or keyframe the position of the null object. So go to 0, 0 and add it, hit the stopwatch. Then we're going to want to bring this down to the bottom of the screen. Go about one and a half seconds later and you're going to bring this up to the point where you want your ex firework to explode. So now you see that the streak has gotten a little bit longer. Okay, and so when this is launched in real life, it's not as straight as it is. It, um, it's a little wiggly. So what we're going to do is we can alt-click the position. And then type in wiggle. Parenthesis 8, comma, 20. Close parenthesis. And so this is just an expression to add a wiggle. Um, and the numbers I have are numbers that I found that make it look like a fairly realistic effect as it goes up. So you have this. Okay. So the next thing we're going to want to do is go back to the light streak, go to particle, and we're going to want to change the color. The birth color should be about white, because that's the brightest. Then the death color, we want it to be about black. So it, this way it'll look like it's blending in and almost dissolving in with the background. And we're also going to want to change the max opacity to about 20. So now if we go through this, looks pretty good. So next we're going to want to add a glow effect on the light streak. 
So if we go under Stylize and Glow, drag that on. Oops, drag that on. And what I like to do is change color A to an orangish color, and then change Glow based on from color channels to alpha channel. This way, it'll give it more of like an orangish fire-like look to it. Okay, so this is looking pretty good, and now we're going to move on to the actual firework. So go ahead and add a new solid. Okay, and next you're going to rename this firework, and just click OK. And so this is real simple to do. Um, you're going to add the particle systems to effect on this also. You're going to open up the physics tab and change the gravity to 0 0.3, change resistance to about 25. And if you'll notice, if you scroll through this, you kind of already have like a general shape of your firework. So the big thing is to go and keyframe your birth rate. I'm going to start it at about, leave, have it at about 25 at the start. Then I'm going to hit the stopwatch. I'm going to go forward only th like three frames. And then I'm going to bring this all the way down to zero. So now if you play through this, right, it's like your general firework effect. So now I'm just going to line this up to where um, the tip of the light streak is when it stops. So at 115. Okay, and then I'm going to change the position of this. Change the position under the producer tab so that the firework explodes right where the streak ended. So it goes up and bam. And so you'll notice first after this that you still have that streak present. So what you want to do is go into your light streak hit, um, and you're going to keyframe the birth rate. So at the start, keep it at four. You might want to bump it up maybe a little like 15. And then right at the start of the firework, when it's like really dense and you can't see anything, you're just going to bring it all the way down to zero. Right, so it kind of fades off a little bit. And you can, if you can still see it there, I mean, you have a couple options. You can go ahead under your keyframe, maybe move this a little bit earlier. All right, and this way it kind of will like die off. This might maybe be a little bit more realistic because then it'll kind of like die off. Kind of like how on the streaks, they don't just vanish, they kind of like fade away. Can do that or if you ha still had it like this and you can see the streak a little bit afterwards go right up to where it's very condensed hit the T for the opacity keyframe the opacity and then one so right when it's very condensed and then you'll go one frame forward and bring it all the way down from 100 to 0 so there you have it and it's gone Okay, so that's pretty much your firework effect. And now we're going to just go into some customizations that you might like to see. So all the customizations are pretty much in the firework itself. So if you go here, the first thing is the color. If you don't like this color, go ahead under the particle section, change birth color, and let's say you want to make it a nice blue, just change the color, and there you go, you have a nice blue. Death color doesn't really do much. I'm just going to set it to black so it kind of like fades away there. Okay, and the next is if you want your firework to be maybe a little bit more explosive or a little bigger, if you increase the velocity, you'll notice it, the firework is a little bit bigger and explodes more. So that's something else you can do. The last thing to do is add sound, which is necessary for your firework. Now, since it's the 4th of July, maybe you want to go out tonight and record your own sounds for this. That would be awesome. But there are also several sounds that you can find on YouTube and you can just use those, and I will have links to sound effects in the description. The first thing is a firework whistle, 
And this is just um, during the light streak, the sound that it makes when it goes up. So I'm going to open the waveform. And I'm going to fill this in the gap before the firework actually explodes. I'm going to hit right click it, go time, time stretch, and make this a little bit longer so it fills the whole gap. Here, right about there. And then I'm going to add my firework explosion effect or sound effect. Open up the waveform and put it right where it explodes. Also going to bump up the volume of this a little bit. And then I'll put this at 6. Okay, so now if we go ahead and RAM preview this to get some audio in there. That looks pretty good. Something else you might want to consider is normally with fireworks, there's a delay from when you actually see the explosion to when you hear it. So if you want to move the sound back a few frames, so you have the explosion and then the sound, I'm going to move this back even a little bit more. And now if we do that, right? Or I mean, depending on how much, how you feel and how you like it, right? You can always adjust the delay so it matches whatever look or feel or sound you're going for. Well, that's basically it for this tutorial. This is just one firework. You can make many. You can just do the firework without the light streak. You can do um, a bunch of them right next to each other all at once, whatever you want. Um, well, once again, happy 4th of July. Please remember to subscribe and like and comment. Please follow me on Google Plus and on Twitter, and keep on watching my tutorials. Thanks for watching, guys.